this is Chris Richter from ricochet.com.au. Welcome back again. Something I'd like to show you today is how you can use different themes for different courses and different themes for different categories as well. Both very, very useful. What do I mean by a different theme? Well, what you're looking at right now is the Moodle 4.0 Boost theme. And this is what a course looks like when you have it with this particular theme. If you're a site administrator, you can change that, that theme by going to Site Administration, Appearance, down to the theme selector and you can change theme by selecting change theme and choosing a different theme to a different one that you might like so if I choose something quite different learn R for example if I choose use theme and continue you'll see that this theme looks considerably different to the last theme that we had so that's just a different theme or a different uh, way of changing the appearance of Moodle what it looks like. You can do this on a per course basis. So I'm just going to switch this back to the boost theme and then I'm going to show you how you can use the boost theme and also a different theme like this with individual courses. We're back on the boost theme and I have a couple of different courses here that I'd like to use. So I'm going to use the practice course one demo and change the theme just for that course. So if I go into the course, I go to settings for the course, scroll all the way down to appearance and you can see there it says force theme and I have the option to choose a different theme just for this course only. So if I change this to Learn R, save and display, I now have that theme, the Learn R theme for this course. If I switch to a different course, so go to My Courses, it jumps back to the Boost theme for the overall look because I've only changed this just for this one course. And if I go into one of the other courses, like the Moodle Training Intermediate Day one, you can see it stays on the Boost theme this particular course will be on the Learn R theme. Now we can also do this at a category level, but before we do that, we need to change a setting. So let's go into our site administration, assuming you're an administrator to do this task or you organize your administrator to do it. We go into appearance and go to theme settings. Here are some of the settings that you can change. Allow user themes, which means you can let users choose their own theme. You can allow themes for different courses, which is what we did. You can also allow category themes. So we're going to tick allow category themes. There is a cohort themes and there is allow theme changes in the URL, which is interesting. So you can change a theme just based on the URL address with the theme name. I'll leave that one. Jumping back to categories, tick allow category themes box and we'll save those changes. So as an administrator, we can now go into our courses. If I go into course categories, I'm going to choose the example category one, select edit to edit the category. Down the bottom, you'll see it has force theme and we can choose a theme from the list. And I'm going to choose the move theme, save changes. If I now go into a course that's in category one, like the example course, I go to view, it'll open up. And it's now in what's called the move theme, which is just a variation on the default theme. But as you can see, the colors are <laughs> interesting. So that's how you do it. All you need to do is make sure you enable theme changes for categories in the admin. Then you can go and apply that to a category. And then any course, if you move a course and drop it into a different category. So if I change one of the courses in category one and edit that and change it to put it into one of the other categories, like example category one, instead of just category one, then it will take on the theme that belongs to that category instead. And that's all you need to do to change themes in your Moodle LMS. I hope that's been useful. My name is Chris Richter from ricochet.com.au. Check out the courses on Moodle and other LMS courses there as well in the description down the bottom. And I'll talk to you again very soon.